Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis. Uh, gonna do a real quick video. I just got done working on the calcium reactor and I wanted to talk to you guys about why I keep a flow monitor on the uh, output of the second chamber and uh, for the exact reason and what happened, what I actually just had to deal with. So uh, long story short, over time, these uh, tubes just kind of get clogged. Regardless of where you put the pump within the sump, they just kind of get dirty and clogged uh, throughout time. So when that happens, of course, the flow in the calcium reactor will go down. And with that, your uh, alkalinity will start to drop if you're monitoring it through the Trident or once per week, uh, whatever your method might be. But uh, regardless, your um, alkalinity will drop and you could uh, potentially have some issues. Now, uh, with this setup here, of course I have the Trident, which is actually testing right now. Uh, so I have daily monitoring of the uh, FMM, or not FMM, of the alkalinity, calcium, and uh, magnesium. Uh, don't worry, this is just water from me uh, draining it just a few seconds ago, but uh, either way, so I have uh, been monitoring the alkalinity over the last few days and I noticed it, that it was going down and then today uh, it tested at noon and it was at 6.77, so there was definitely something wrong. I did notice as well that the flow was starting to go down uh, through the monitor here, which is the uh, quarter inch through the Apex FMM module. And uh, so between uh, the flow going down and the alkalinity going down, I knew that there was either a clog within the tube, which, uh, by the way, I change out every three months. I just kind of, there's one here between two chambers and then two that kind of go over uh, back into the summit from the pump. But either way, I thought it was about time I had to change those out. But actually this time it wasn't uh, the tube. It wasn't clogged. There was actually a clog back inside the feed. I don't know if you can see that there. There was a clog down inside there. I had to blow some air into it and then pump some water with a syringe and finally got it clear. But either way, um, having the monitor on here essentially saves the system because you can not only see uh, where the flow is and kind of how it's dipping down, um, and as it starts to slow down, you could always adjust the pH within your ch uh, chamber to kind of make up for it before you actually you know change out the tubing. But uh, so between that and having the Trident, I actually saved the system from plummeting even more, even though 6.77 is definitely pretty low, but I did catch it before it kind of messed up the whole system. So if you have a calcium reactor, I definitely recommend you get a flow monitor of some sort. And I, again, I like to put mine on the output of the chambers. Um, I'm almost debating putting it before, but you know, because there, you know, as this media starts breaking down, there's particles and stuff that could eventually clog the sensor here, but they're relatively easy to clean. Uh, so maybe I'll just uh, leave it there for now. But either way, if you can monitor the flow on your calcium reactor, you can definitely catch these clogs. Um, and this is the first calcium reactor I ever had. So I don't know if they make different size tubing for other calcium reactors, but either way, this quarter inch stuff uh, gets clogged over time. Again, re regardless of where you put it in the sump, it's gonna clog up just with detritus and, and, and whatnot. But yeah, so thankfully I had this module and I was able to fix the uh, the clog and now the tank can run back or get back to normal. Now I will monitor it um, because the flow is actually around six gallons per hour opposed to being nearly zero. So we'll see how the fluctuation is on the next test. Again, the alkalinity is being tested now on the Trident. It will do it again at 6 p.m. And if I find that if I'm getting a little bit too quick of an increase in alkalinity at 6 p.m. tonight, I will increase the pH in the chamber. That way it takes a little bit longer to get back to its normal 8 or 8.59. But uh, yeah, so that's about it for the video. I wanted to share that with you because this is just one of those things that could go wrong and could potentially uh, devastate or, or destroy your tank, you know, just not paying attention to it, clogging up and eventually not, um, you know, dumping uh, calcium alkalinity back into your system. So with that said, guys, that's it for the video. I'm actually heading out to go hunting. I'm going to a very long, long walk. And hopefully we'll snag somebody big tonight or a big, not somebody, but... Uh, big old buck. We'll see, right? Anyways, guys, I'll see you uh, tomorrow with another video. All right. Peace.